Today, we're gonna focus on a nutrient that's been in the news a lot lately, omega-3s. No doubt you've heard of omega-3s and the beneficial effects they have on heart health, but the evidence is in that they're just as great for our moods as well. In fact, recent studies even suggest that omega-3s are just as effective as antidepressants in treating depressive symptoms. So stick around. We're going to show you three delicious dishes chock full of good mood omega-3s. Let's go. We're not professional chefs. But we are professional psychotherapists who understand that what you put in your mouth affects what goes on in your head. Eating well greatly benefits your mental and emotional health. We want to show you quick, easy, and delicious recipes that will have a lasting and positive effect on your mental state. Today, Wild Salmon Supreme with Avocado Citrus Salsa. Our crunchy, catatonic kale and walnut salad. And for dessert, a creamy raspberry chia seed coconut pudding. As therapists, we play by the book. But when it's time to cook, we're, we're psychos in the kitchen. Omega-3s, what are they? The quick and easy answer is healthy fats. Your brain is comprised mostly of water, but if you take that water out, it's 60 to 75% fat. So you want that fat to be of the highest quality from the foods you eat. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't put low quality, rancid, dirty oil in your car, would you? Oh no. So why would you put it in your brain? Omega-3s are the highest quality oil for your brain. And uh, wild Alaskan salmon is our fish today, which is full of omega-3s. Sustainable. Low in mercury, has a delicate flavor. Utterly delicious. So, we are going to bake it. Mm -hmm. We find that uh, baking is the easiest and most consistent way to cook fish. So all you really need is olive oil, salt, and pepper. So I like to put uh, the olive oil on the bottom of the pan mm -hmm. so the skin does not... Oh, you're using your fingers. Well, of course. Is that because you're Greek? Of course. Would you like to salt and pepper? Let's salt it. Of course we're gonna salt it. We're gonna use um, Celtic salt which looks dirty, but that's actually good because it's full of trace minerals. You don't want that super le bleached white salt that they sell at the supermarket. I also like that Himalayan pink salt. Yeah, because it's pink. So and like Roberto it. and I love pepper. So we're going to liberally douse it with pepper. And then we're gonna go in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. And wow, Cynthia does that. At 350? 350. We're gonna zest. I just recently found out what zesting is, and it's taking the outer part of a citrus fruit. Now zest is awesome because it's full of minerals, vitamins, antioxidants, and it even lowers cholesterol. Here's an interesting thing about citrus. They're one of the only foods that have a high concentration of negative ions. Negative ions are particles that are naturally found near waterfalls, by the ocean, or high up in the mountains. These particles actually increase brain chemicals that have a fabulous calming and antidepressant effect on us. So if you can't make it to Niagara Falls today, eat an orange. Once we're done zesting, we're gonna supreme the citrus. And supreming is the culinary name for removing the flesh from the membrane. That's right. So actually, you just get that delicate, delicate meat of the, uh, the fruit, of the citrus. It seems very difficult, but it's actually pretty easy. So we start with cutting the ends off. And then digging kind of deep. And you really want to make sure there's no white pith because that is the bitter part. Mm -hmm. Don't throw those away. There is good juice on here. Uh -huh. And I don't mean to be a control freak, but can you like get rid of a I little? Wear. Of it? You are a control freak. <laughs> like that? Yeah, perfect. Right. Any other little whitey parts? Oh, there's a big whitey part Disgusting. there. Disgusting. Great. All right. So now he's cutting in between the membranes. See how easy? Yeah, now do you so, cut that in half or you leave it whole? I like it whole. Okay. I don't care. You want to cut it in if half? You, if, if you wanted to, you could. I cut it in half, but it doesn't matter. This is fine. Isn't this so fancy? And yet so easy. Huh? Well, there I had a little membrane on it. Mm. I can smell the negative ions. Can you? <laughs> mm. Now, don't throw this away. Just right. squeeze it. And I'm going to do this. Great. Now, Cynthia actually supremed a whole bunch of I was supreming before. earlier. So we're just gonna put this in here. 
one avocado, a thinly sliced red onion to taste. Some people don't like a lot of onion. How's that? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And don't forget a handful. Our cilantro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am going to now take this to the stove mm -hmm. and we're going to cook it for like a half a minute to a minute. Not too high long. Heat. Not too long because we don't want, want it to disintegrate. Avocado soup. Medium high heat. She always cooks it too long. I heard that. Basically, we just want to cook it for like a minute so that when you pour it over the fish, it doesn't cool the fish down. It's 30 seconds already. Remember, it turned into soup. Uh, last time I forgot about it because we And let me check our fish. Whew, oh, beautiful. That looks good. Beautiful. Oh, yes. And now beautiful let me grab that salmon. salsa. Perfectly cooked. Our salsa. There do you is. want to do, be careful? Do you want to do caliente? Mm -hmm. Just scoop it over the fish. Nice and easy. Look at those beautiful colors. One more. And you may have a little extra for a sandwich or something later. A salsa sandwich. <laughs> Please. And there it is. Our delicious dish of omega-3 mood-boosting nutrients. Full of antioxidants. Our crunchy catatonic kale and walnut salad. Why did we name it that? Well, we're shrinks. And in psychotherapy, the definition of catatonia is a state of apparent unresponsiveness to external stimuli in someone who's awake. So what does that have to do with salad? So when you're eating this particular salad, the world ceases to exist. I get Trust it. me on this. Okay. So Kale, it's one of the healthiest and most versatile foods on the planet. You can broil it, you can steam it, you can bake it, you can eat it raw, juice it. We're gonna make salad out of it, so we're gonna eat it raw. And it's full of antioxidants, fiber, vitamins, nutrients, and the omega-3s. The very cool thing is when you up omega-3, you actually decrease impulsive behavior and hostility. Kitties, come get your kale. Or husbands. <laughs> or our difficult clients. So, hey, you're not supposed to let's this. make the salad. <laughs> okay. Uh, one thing we like to do, because uh, kale leaves sometimes are a little bit uh, rough and tough, we give it a little massage. Swedish or deep tissue? Anything, as long as it's not shiatsu. I hate, <laughs> I hate that shiatsu. <laughs> too. Uh, okay, so we're gonna um, I'm cut it into ribbons. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh. <laughs> What'd you do that for? Wait a minute, wait a minute, what are you doing? What, three second rule? Not in this house, we've got critters, come on. Oh yeah, and impulsive kids. All right, I'll grab another one. We're gonna de-stem. The stem can be very chewy and tough. It's still edible, but you don't want tough, chewy stem in your salad. No, and you could put it in soups. Mm-hmm, stock out of it. Right on. And then you have this little trick, right? Oh yeah, the ribbon trick. This gives it a little extra massage. <laughs> and, you, and you slice it very thin. And you get these wonderful little ribbons. For so the dressing, we're going to just be using olive oil, lemon, salt, and pepper. Okay? Let's start. And I eyeball it, but it's about a quarter of a cup of olive oil. Our salt. And Our you can lemon. always salt again after you taste. Mm -hmm. Black pepper. And then we whisk. Now you want me to whisk? Please. Can you whisk nicely? Yeah, I'm a good whisker. Okay. And we're ready to toss? Yeah, let's bring the salad over. Go for the... Oh yeah, mm -hmm. uh-huh. Let's do just a quick toss. This uh, marinades the leaves a little bit, which extra tenderizes the kale. All right. Now here comes an extra omega-3 power boost. Walnuts. Hmm. Let me tell you a little story about walnuts. When I was a little kid, my dad used to tell me, eat a lot of walnuts, they're good for your brain. You know why? They look like a brain. 
Look at this, the two little hemispheres, the bumps and the grooves. <laughs> That's right. My dad was onto something. They didn't know about omega-3s back then, but you know, it turns out that walnuts are one of the foods that are highest in the omega-3 known as ALA. We don't want to get too scientific, but there are three kinds of omega-3s. Our mental as well as physical well-being will benefit the most if we get plenty of all three. ALA, found in vegetables, seeds and nuts, like flax, walnuts, chia seeds, green leafy vegetables and avocados. DHA and EPA, found in fatty fish and grass-fed lean meats and dairy, like salmon, sardines, game, beef and butter. When picking your fish, get wild caught if you can. You see, fish get their omega-3s from the food they eat, and the diet in farm-raised fish can sometimes be questionable. Wild caught will make sure that you have the most consistent omega-3 content. And it's really nice to roast the walnuts. I wouldn't have it in any other way, mm -hmm. because you get that nice roasted flavor. So you can do it either in the toaster oven or in a saute pan, but be careful because once they get to a certain heat, they start to burn. All right, so let's put the toasted walnuts in there. I like a lot of them. I do you? too, love them. I like a lot of crunch. Great, now let's put this on the side because we want to show them how to shave the cheese, right? Any hard cheese will do, but we like a high quality Parmesan cheese, like grana. And we're using this little device, it's a cheese shaver, a cheese slicer, and it gives you really nice thin shavings. And you can cut them if you yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, because you don't want a mouthful of cheese. It's not a cheese recipe. Maybe we can make a cheese salad. Does that exist? A cheese salad. Right? Yes. How's that? Roberto and I, because he's Italian and I'm Greek, we really like our cheese. Yeah, but who doesn't like cheese? Some people. Yeah. Okay, we who's that? We don't trust those people. Let me just put in a few more. There it is. Our delicious, crunchy, catatonic kale and walnut salad. Presto. <laughs> okay, let's make some dessert. Our chill and chia coconut raspberry pudding. Up until recently, I had no idea that omega-3s were found in foods other than fish. Well, it turns out, yes, leafy greens and we used walnuts, but also in edible seeds like kiwi seeds, flax seeds, and the mighty chia seed. The mighty chia seed also has the highest level of omega-3s than any other seed. Huh. Did you know this is the same seed that they do the chia pets? With? No, and Amazing. I never had a chia pet. Oh, poor you. So to make this pudding, all you need is a can of light coconut milk. Third of a cup of chia. Mm -hmm. Sweetener. I like maple syrup. I like raw and filtered honey. So about two tablespoons? Two tablespoons. There. May I taste? Uh-huh. Yes. No, you like it sweet. A little sweeter? Bring it on. Oh. Not for me. I Just a little. Sweet. Okay. Perfect. Great. And we pour it in our fancy pudding cups. So what happens is the chia seeds absorb the moisture of the coconut milk and thicken it up and turn it into a yummy pudding texture. They actually plump up and puff up like tapioca. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we're going to put these in the fridge for about an hour. And here we have some that we made a few hours ago that are nice and firm. And we're going to put some toppings on it. I like raspberries. I love to put in bananas because bananas actually increase production of endorphins. And endorphins are those luscious brain chemicals that you feel after a workout, yoga, and my personal favorite, massage. You want some raspberries? Love some. Okay. You can also put in toasted coconut, nuts. Any topping you like, really. And there you have it. An omega-3 rich dessert. Who knew? Three delicious dishes full of omega-3s, antioxidants, fiber, and other mood-boosting nutrients. For these recipes and more info on Cycles in the Kitchen and Good Mood Foods, please visit our website. And don't forget, good mood starts with... Good food!